We were at Chef's store again, and they were having a sale on pans of macaroni and cheese. Four pound, 12 ounce pans for under $10. So we got a bunch of them. This was our first small test. These are some of the macaroni and cheeses that we got at Chef's store. So I'm going to get these pre-cooked and then we'll dish them up into portions for freeze drying. I'll put that on a baking sheet and get that in the oven. Okay, that's still very frozen. I need to give it more time before I mix it. Okay, I'll check that. So I'll kind of stir it around and it's still very liquidy until it gets all the way up to temperature. I freeze dried a small sample of the mac and cheese. Now I'm going to make sure that it rehydrates well also. Unfortunately, I didn't bother weighing this because it was just a leftover sample from dinner. Checking to make sure we liked it. So I've got boiling water, just going to add enough and I'll probably have to do that a little bit at a couple of times, a little at a time, a couple of times until it feels about right. Let that sit for a couple of minutes and check it. We'll be back in a few minutes. I've given this a few minutes, about 10, 12 minutes and reheated it slightly in the microwave. And I think because the pastas, the, the little macaronis are so big, it needs extra time. So they still are a little firm, but the sauce is good. Yeah, the pasta could use a little bit more rehydration time, uh, but I find it quite acceptable. So it depends on how well you want it done. That's pretty good. They're definitely under rehydrated. The thickness of the sauce seems fine. So that seems like it probably doesn't need any instant clear gel to go with it. Yeah, okay. just a little more rehydration, mm -hmm. I think. If it were a bigger amount, so it would hold the heat better, it would help. Yeah. But it tastes like mac and cheese. Yeah. So anyway, the boxes that you uh, that I started with, those boxes of mac and cheese, that's what this is. So this is just a small test to make sure that the cons uh, that that mac and cheese works, that it uh, freeze dries, rehydrates, everything before we do a lot of them. Yep, that's good. Okay, so just a quick sample to show what it's what it looks like then we'll do a whole longer video of this of the mac and cheese soon <laughs>